He's coming. That car is coming. That car stopped right there. They're looking at the truck. You Maybe see him? we should get... You heard that? Yeah. All right, let's just go. So we're up in Tick Falls State Park right now with Hannah. What's up? And we're going to be exploring these abandoned cabins up in the water that got destroyed by Hurricane Ida right there. So we're about to come around down here and turn around and park. We got a game plan. Yeah, me and Brennan have been discussing for the past five minutes how we're going to do this. Yeah, because like they got park rangers that ride around this place and we don't want them to see us going in there. So we're going to start all the way at the back and pass the two front ones up that you've seen just now and go all the way to the back and work away from the back forward. That way, if we do get seen by somebody, we already got the footage. And if they tell us to leave, we just be like, all right, we ain't got nothing to get anyway. Yeah. It looks pretty dead back here, guys. So I think we're the only ones out here, but we're going to see what's up. We don't vandalize anything. We don't take anything. We go get the footage, we get out. That's it. We just here for a fun video for y'all. Get up in the woods too, it make it harder and it's harder to see us from the road. Oh wow, they go way over there too. And I guess this was all cut and nice to like walk through. They got like a little light right there, so I guess you could chill. I'm not exactly sure what number cabin this is, but this is the main thing. Like they're kind of all set up like this. They got a deck that goes out. And then you got your cabin that you stay and pay in. You could rent them out for the weekend, the week, however long they did. I don't really know that. So far, they seem pretty nice. This would be a really cool spot to just chill. Like on the water like this. Look how beautiful that looks out there. And these look like real houses. Like this don't look like no cabin. This looks like real houses. This is awesome. But they do call them cabins. So they're cabins, but you know. This one looks like they, that they're either doing it before Hurricane Ida hit. Or they started doing it now. I mean, I tell you, like that, there's no way that was. See, some workers built that to get to it. This was all the same thing. It just got messed up. But I will say, this is nice, man. And look, now you got a whole concrete padway out here. There was a railing on it. Oh, look, there's the railing. And the door is wide open. Check it out. This is crazy, y'all. Imagine staying out here, like for a weekend or whatever. Just, you got this house right here with everything you would need in it. And then when you walk out to your front porch, this is what you see. It is pretty shallow though. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to. You don't want to get drunk, drunk and fall off. Yeah, you would, that would be one. You're really going to get hurt. <laughs> Look how many of them are though, yeah. golly. That's what I'm saying, you might be here for a while. So this is the first room that you walk into when you enter the cabin. And I'm guessing this is more like the, the living room area this would have been the kitchen because they got the microwave and all these cabinets no open flames of any kind no grills fryers or open flames of any kind well how the hell do you cook i'm guessing you can only use electric <laughs> so this is the hallway and then you got oh a bathroom which to tell you what they still kind of look pretty good Pretty nice sized tub for being a little this something you're This kind of reminded rent. me of like the video we did at the asylum apartments. Oh yeah, I wish we, we could have still wish we could have got in there more. Y'all, I'll link that video to Brennan's when we went and oh. explored the asylum. They were like, they still got soap. It was an old woman's mental asylum, and they were built into apartments. So that was the bathroom, and it looks like there's two bedrooms. So one to the right. Nice little bedroom, and then you got a little spot to hang your clothes for the weekend or the time you're here. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting like, well, just like you said about the mental asylum, yeah. I'm kind of getting like, like, yeah, when you're in the mental hospital vibes. <laughs> like, it's just like, this is weird. And then this is the other room on the other side, which is set up exactly the same as you can see. Hangers for your clothes, and then I guess more racks for like pants and stuff. I feel like all of them are probably going to be like similar, but some of them do look bigger, so. I ain't never seen no attic like this though, dude. Check this out. What kind of attic uh, ladder is this? But hey, we might as well go see what's up there. Friends want to go in the attic of this? Yeah, I'm about to go. Stay down here. I'll be watch, watch I'm going to see if the grudge is up here. Oh no, that's the one that comes out of the uh, water tank, huh? Whatever. What's this? Oh, they have bugs in this. this. This is the attic. I know you can't see much. It don't go that far over there, and I ain't gonna lie. Attic kind of creepy. But yeah, guys, so this is pretty cool. I'm thinking all the cabins are gonna be set up exactly the same. We're gonna go look at some other cabins and see if they're set up the same. But 
I can't get over. Imagine if you were just staying here and every time you walked out of your front door, like this is what you seen. So this is their little makeshift bridge that they built to walk across. It actually feels pretty sturdy, I ain't gonna lie. It actually feels pretty sturdy. Oh, this one's still got the railings. This is beautiful, and, I, and that's the causeway, right? Just from looking at that one to this one, this one's bigger because they have two windows on each side in the front, and that one only has one. I would still say this is like the living room part. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then right over here is the kitchen. I think this one has a little bit bigger of a kitchen. They had some nice tops in here. I'm guessing it went underwater, and that's why they took all the... Uh, stuff out that high i guess that's yeah, where it all got wet so this is the little hallway spot and then if you go right right here is the bathroom there was a toilet there of course you had your sink here shout the tub this is the exact same tub as in the other one so they probably got all the same exact tubs but look we, every time we go somewhere hannah they got these little hotel they literally always got these hotel hair dryers bfyt and yellow narrative and then more right is a bedroom so this is a little bit different than the bedroom and the other one they just have the spot to put your hanger um clothes they don't have no more in here and this is kind of cool because like if you even in your room you got a little balcony to go out of this is cool as hell it is i would really like to see this every time you come outside the only thing i wish is maybe the water be a little deeper and this is the other bedroom See, same thing, got a little spot to hang your clothes, and they had probably had a bed in here, and this, this I'm pretty sure don't go in there. I think they took that out the bathroom and just pulled it in here. Let's see if they got anything to drink. Nah. But even if we didn't, they didn't open them, we could still camp out here. Back. Yeah. That would be a good video. Staying the night in abandoned cabins. Let us know if y'all want to see that video. We get enough comments on that and we'll do it. You with that? I'm with it. All right. I feel like each video we do, like, Loki gets better and better. Hell yeah. That's how it's supposed to be, though. They got a wheelbarrow, so people were definitely working out here. But yeah, I think this was... Like, they got these lights just out here. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it looks like all these lights were like a walkway, so it like lit it up at night. I feel like most of them are going to be about the same. Yeah. So yeah, we can see what's up in the back because maybe the further back you get, the more expensive you get. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so since we did the other set and then this set, I think the back one's going to be the same and then the outer ones are going to be the same. Yeah. But those over there still look to yeah. be a little bit different. That blue and that white one for yeah. Sure. So I say now going through every one of them is going to be basically the same thing. So I say now we risk getting caught and going over there. Yeah. So now we're going to try to sneak past this little security shop or whatever it's called and get to the back ones without getting seen. It looks like there's like an office thing over there and I can see one of them little uh, Polaris things they drive around here. Oh yeah, they got a whole truck right there. Not a truck, a bulldozer. This is looking like me and Brennan are not supposed to be back here. So what you want to do? You want to just run to them? Yeah. I think we go to the purple one. There's a white one. White one, probably. Over there at the end? Yeah. All right, let's just go. Okay. All right, guys, we're running through this so we don't get seen. Look, here's the other ones. Hell yeah. See, they, these are a little different. Watch them not be though. The the ones over there that were closer to the back didn't have a little back thing right here. And that front one don't have it. So something's different. I will say though, with them building all these things to get to them, I wonder if they're actually working on them. Maybe they are. I mean, I think it'd be worth it to fix them up. They can make a lot of money renting them out. Well, I know they're working on them, but like, I wonder how much they're actually doing. So now we got another one of these makeshift bridges to go across they built. They did pretty good making it though. We got a whole scaffolding thing in the water to hold it up. Hey, there's a bunch of minnows. It's looking like Hurricane Katrina took the whole dock out all the way to there. So this is a red house that they didn't do too good at paint. It is the same as the first one we was into, but they kind of like switched the style around. So the back one's now how the front one was over there, and the front one's how the back one was now. We'll be able to get to this dock, but some of it still broke. And there was supposed to be some stairs that you could go down even lower and get on there, kind of like they got over there. But look at the view we got behind us, man. This is so cool. And then back there, they got all the houses all along there that you could rent out and come into. 
me and Hannah was talking about it earlier. If you guys would like to see us just come stay in one of these overnight, let us know in the comments. We get enough comments. If y'all want it that bad enough, we'll do it. So see how this one's got the double windows? So this one's going to be the same as the other one. They just switched it up. I would say this is probably the best house to have, or at least the one that I would want. Because, so when you come up to the window or you walk out, all you see is that. You don't see houses on both sides like you do with all the other ones. And then when you get over here, you got all this to look at instead of looking at other houses and stuff. This is actually pretty cool. It looks like they had like some, yeah, they did. You can see it on there. They had some, this was screened in so you didn't get tore up by mosquitoes. Cause I tell you, I bet mosquitoes love it up in there and all kind of other stuff. Back door and you can find even more. This is the other room, but actually, this one's slightly different unless they took the little pole thing out. All right, guys, so that's all we found in on that one. So now we're going to go back to the front and see what we can find up in the front and hope the uh, ranger people don't find us again. So we're going back across this makeshift bridge, which they actually did pretty good. I ain't even going to lie. All right, y'all, so we we're walking the way back. Y'all can see them cars coming. People are looking. That car stopped right there. Me and Brennan are like... They're driving away. They're driving away, but there is still one car that went they're straight. They're watching us. They're looking at the truck. You Maybe see them? we should get... We should, no, but I'm saying they might like wait to the truck for us to go to the truck to like... That's alright. <laughs> you don't give a... No. Unless you do, I don't want to scare you, but no, I, mean, I don't get We're good. Okay. We ain't never, we ain't ever laid on the ground like this before, guys. Because we, I seen that car stop and I just took, took off running back here. I wasn't even filming. That's why we, that's why we, whenever we got here, we was already on the ground. Because we were just walking out, so I figured we'd be good to just walk out and do the outro in the truck. He's coming. The car's coming. Y'all see the car coming, guys? They shouldn't be able to see me holding the camera like this. Alright, so that was the only other car that was back here that we seen. You heard that? Yep. Yeah, I think it's time to... Time to Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video on exploring the abandoned cabins with Hannah. What's up guys? That was crazy on our way out. We've seen that. We just had to hit the dirt and everything, but... We're all good now. I think everybody left. We're about to head to the truck and get out of here. I hope you guys like this video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to let us know in the comments. And if you have any locations or anything abandoned you want us to explore, also let us know in the comments. We'll get it done for y'all. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. If you like, cop yourself some merch, just like this shirt, and plenty more, there'll be a link in the description. You guys can click that and bring it over to the merch shop. You can rep the brand in BFYT. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.